Hello everyone, hello Facebook Live. I am Sabine Matharu. I'm your fast track business launch strategist. And today I'm talking about three simple ways to get you into gear after the summer holidays. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm in the UK and today it's a really rainy day and I'm absolutely freezing. In fact, I think I'm gonna turn on the heating later on. I'm really shivering. So it isn't really easy to get back um, on track with business or activities. Um, you know, kids are back at, uh, at school from this week as well, and, and I think it is time for action. Hi Petra, thanks for joining me. So we're back in September, the kids have gone back to school, and it is time for action. Now, who said to themselves, I'll do that after the holidays? or I'll do that after I lost 10 pounds, or I will be able to do it once I made X amount of money. I mean, do you catch yourself saying these things? Yes, have you said that that before? Yeah, I'll do it when, and, and you're sort of waiting for things to happen, or you sort of, um, it's actually, you're actually denying yourself to be successful and have the things you really want, because you're always waiting and waiting for things to happen. So yeah, okay, some things might need some larger financial investments, like I can do this when I have a larger house, okay, but some of the things don't. And some of the things we can just do, we just do it, right? We, we just need the self-confidence and, and a go-do-it-now attitude. Now, I know it's never the right time, and if you keep waiting for the right time, you will lose precious time where you already could be well on your way and, and do the things that, that you want and, and you are the person that you want to be. Now, if you're feeling like you're not motivated right now, you're, you're sort of stuck, you're not moving forward as fast as you would like, or you're not moving forward at all, or you just don't know if you're moving in the right direction or, or what the right direction actually is then you need a way to find um, that you find to get yourself unstuck, okay? So um, I'm just going to tell you a story because it actually did happen to one of my clients because she was completely overwhelmed when, when she started her business. And she had so, so many ideas but didn't know how to implement them in a structured manner that would make her money. And she also didn't know which ideas would be working and which not. So most importantly, she didn't even have the drive uh, and the motivation to move things forward. So, and this is where we are right now as well. Perhaps in September, we're feeling stuck. We so sort of kids went back to work. And this is why I thought today I'm going to talk about three simple things that help you move, uh, move back and get into gear and move things forward for you. Okay. So you might also be sitting on your desk like I am now working from home. You might be in your office at your desk and I'm thinking, so what do I need to do now? How can I get back on track? Now, it's, it is, it's something that, so how, how are you going to do this, okay? Because um, I, I exactly used this with my client as well because she came to me, she was overwhelmed, she didn't know where to start. So this is how we might be feeling after the holidays. We've got so many things that we sort of um, left before the holidays, there's so many loose ends. Um, maybe we even forgot how the things that we, we were supposed to do, okay? So number one, the first thing you need to do to get back on track is actually to write down all your ideas. It could be on a, on a piece of paper, really unstructured, it doesn't matter. All the stuff that you kind of left before the holidays, okay? Number two, you then evaluate if these things are still valid, if they're still valid things and you still need to do them, because if they're not, then just delete them, it, just trash them, okay? Don't do them. They are not necessary, okay? And, and sometimes it's good to leave things for a little while and then you realize, actually, it's not what I want or I don't really need to do that. And think about, are these things really moving me forward in my business, okay? And the third step, you then create a plan of action uh, and a way, very importantly, to hold yourself accountable, okay? Because you might have the, the best plan of action, but if you're not doing it or you're not holding yourself accountable, then it's not going to work either, is it? 
So how are we really going to do those three steps? I'm going to give you a bit more detail, okay? So step one, it's about putting your ideas on paper, okay? Um, as I said, it's very unstructured. It can be very rough and ready, um, but you will feel much lighter because it is an exercise where you're offloading all the things that you need to do, anything that come into your mind, okay? Step number two is to analyze each of these activities and then prioritize. Now, ask yourself which ones are the vital activities to move my business forward and then which ones are really urgent and important. Some may be urgent and not important, so evaluate where they would go on your priority list. And then, thirdly, create a clear path and a sequence of things that you're going to do in which you're going to work through your activities. So um, ensure there's no confusion and there's no overwhelm. Write down exactly when you want to do what so that you know that what you're going to do on a daily basis and then you tick those off, okay? That is how you're going to create clarity in your business uh, and you avoid confusion or overwhelm. And lastly, keep track of your activities and hold yourself accountable. Or even better, find an accountability partner um, that you perhaps bounce off ideas on a weekly basis or you, you sort of um, have a chat once a week and say, have you done this? Um, and, and just um, make sure you sort of um, hold each other accountable, okay? And very, very importantly, um, shut off the distractions. Have a designated time when you're checking your emails or your Facebook notifications or, or I do actually put my phone on silent and, and the trouble is if I lose it in the house I can't even call myself because I, I don't hear the phone so it's got its disadvantages as well. But that is how I actually um, turn off the distractions. So now if you are feeling stuck and and you know there's so much you need to do and you haven't got a clear strategy or you just don't know how to start or you do want to change um, a direction, um, want to start a, a business perhaps, then um, that is where I can help you. I'm known for the Fast Track Business Launcher, right? And uh, I do offer a free discovery call and you can book that with me on sabinematarub.com. Um, the link is also in the description. And since we were talking about accountability and exchanging ideas, then I would also like you to join my free Facebook group, which is called Reach for Greatness, who I do co-host with a panel of experts in business startup and business growth. And we have weekly topics that include free um, trainings, question and answers, challenges, and you can also network to find your ideal accountability partner. And again, the link is in the description. I will also post it again below. So do please join me, book a discovery call on sabinimataro.com and also join my free Facebook group. So um, we'll talk again. I'm, I'm live um, about 12 o'clock um, every second day. So do tune in again and feel free to share if you think someone can benefit from from uh, from this this live video, um, giving them three simple ways to get back into gear after the summer holidays. Take care. Bye.